Yesterday was yet another winning day here on the Power 5. Now 14-4 and four overall the last four days on the show. And today I've got some NFL preseason winners for you, so stay tuned for that. There's also plenty of daytime action in MLB, so let's get right in to today's Power 5. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agree with, agreement with me on these or just want to show general support for the program. All right, number one, Nationals plus 105 versus the Giants. Yes, I cashed first five winner for my clients with the Giants last night. And if you caught yesterday's show, you got that play for free. However, obviously no Blake Snell on the mound Thursday for San Francisco. That's going to be Kyle Harrison, who is a lot worse on the road than he is at home for his career. Harrison, he has a 5.02 ERA on the road. That's through 26 starts. And it's nearly two full points higher than his ERA at home. That goes along with a 5.12 XFIP and a really concerning home run rate away from home as well. Meanwhile, Washington's DJ Hers, he's the better starter in this matchup, in my opinion. Hers has allowed just five runs on 10 hits his last three starts. Consider Harrison, his last start, he allowed six runs. That's more than Hers has allowed his last three. The Nats' bullpen is better rested heading into this series finale. San Fran, they're aiming to get above 500 after taking two or three from the Nats. They have not been above 500 since late May. I don't think it happens here. I'm back in the Nats in a game where the start time has been moved up due to the effects of Hurricane Debbie. Number two, Pirates minus 115 versus the Padres. This is another matchup I cashed in on yesterday. I had San Diego in the first five. And I'm going to be playing the other side today, just like San Fran and Washington. Pirates, they're looking to avoid a sweep here. They actually led for most of last night's game, but David Bednar, their closer, he blew the save in the top of the ninth. That was after he'd previously converted 19 such opportunities. I know San Diego is an impressive 13-3 since the break. I've been touting them as a dark horse to win the NL pennant uh, for weeks now. But get this, Pittsburgh has not lost four in a row since uh, early May. I think they've got the edge on the mound Thursday with Luis Ortiz, who's basically just had one bad inning since the start of July. That bad inning was last time out. He gave up five runs in the first inning to Arizona. There was some concern. He was tipping pitches. But you take that first inning against Arizona out, and Ortiz has given up just five runs total his last five starts. Meanwhile, Randy Vasquez, who's starting for San Diego, I'm not a huge fan of his. We're talking a 5.91 expected ERA for the season. And key to the handicap today, guys, Padres' bullpen is taxed. A lot of usage uh, of their relievers the last two days. I like the Pirates to avoid the sweep. Another short favorite is the Phillies on Thursday. Number three in the Power Five. I'm back in the Phillies on the road, minus 115 versus the D-backs. Now, you're probably asking yourself, do I really want to step in front of this red-hot Arizona team right now that's coming off a sweep in Cleveland and has won 8 of 9 overall? I do want to do that today, and I want to do it for two reasons. One, the D-backs just had to play a doubleheader yesterday here in Cleveland. I was at Game 1, as a matter of fact. So, bit of a scheduling disadvantage heading into the series. Two, and I think more importantly, Jordan Montgomery is starting for Arizona. It's crazy the D-backs are 10-6 and six in his starts this season because Montgomery has a 6.37 ERA, a 1.66 whip, and here at home, those numbers balloon to 8.39 and 2.07. I know the Phillies typically don't score as many runs on the road as they do at home, but they did just take two of three at Dodger Stadium, scoring six and nine runs in the process. Fading the awful Montgomery is the way to go in this one. All right, on to the NFL. Two preseason games for Thursday. Before I give you my take on both of them, just a reminder, time is running out at wagertalk.com to take advantage of our buy two months, get the rest of August free special. Yes, if you buy two months worth of service for me, we will throw in the rest of August free of charge. That's up to a $299 savings right there. You get the whole NFL preseason, the rest of the MLB regular season, first two months of the NFL regular season, first two months of the college football regular season, and soccer as well. All of the European leagues, Premier League getting going next weekend. That's a lot of winners from me. I'm 5-1 and one overall the last two days. Oh, by the way, so head on over to wt.buzz slash bp to take advantage of that buy two months, get the rest of August free special. All right, back to the Power Five. Number four, Panthers-Patriots. Two first-time head coaches meeting up here. 
Those of you who regularly watch the Power Five already know I bet the Panthers to exceed their season win total of five and a half this year. Well, this line is shot up based on the news that Carolina is going to be starting rookie Jack Plummer at quarterback. And in a but in a game where the total is 33 and a half, I would look to take the points, ugly as that may seem. New England could be the worst team in the NFL, guys. And I just don't think they should be this big of a favorite against anyone, even in a preseason game against an opponent playing backups. Shop around. I'm seeing some sevens start to pop in the marketplace. Carolina plus the points is how I would attack that one. Other NFL X game tonight is Lions-Giants. Certainly uh, tempers have flared in practice this week between these two teams. Spirits are high. These are two teams at opposite ends of the spectrum entering 2024. But I like the Giants' money line in the first quarter here. Let's get a little exotic on them here. Uh, They've got more to prove early. They're at home. I mentioned how feisty it's been with the Lions in practice. I think the Giants are determined to get out to an early lead tonight. So I'll back them first quarter money line. You should be able to find that around minus 140. Let's now recap the Power 5 for today, shall we? 1. Nationals plus 105 versus the Giants. 2. Pirates minus 115 versus the Padres. 3. Phillies, minus 115 versus the D-backs. So three money line plays in MLB all around that pick and price. Then in the NFL, four. Panthers, plus the points, plus seven against the Patriots. And last but not least, number five, Giants, first quarter money line. That's around minus 140. You let me know what you think of those section, uh, those selections, pardon me, by commenting down below. Let me know your favorite bets for Thursday, whether it's Major League Baseball the NFL. I'm always uh, really interested to see what you guys are thinking as well. Then you head on over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp. One more time, 5-1 and one overall with client releases the last two days. My top selections for Thursday, that's where you find them. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Not only is there another edition of the Morning Wager coming out, uh, myself and Mark Zinno this morning, but I'll be on first pitch as well with Tokyo Brandon, I believe. So plenty of things to stay tuned for. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.